Hi, welcome to my YouTube channel. This video is going to be on how to properly uh, create a customer and a vendor in QuickBooks. So most of the time, our customers, while migrating to QuickBooks, we get tempted to also make use of the opening balances in QuickBooks. I'm going to show us how that affects the books and I'm also going to show us the proper way to go about it. So okay, let's go to let's start with customer. So I'm going to click on customer, then customer center. So if I were to uh, create a customer that has a balance in QuickBooks, then I go here, click on new customer here, then click on new customer. Okay. While creating that customer, I uh, decided that okay, I'm gonna use uh, let's say French, okay, okay, French, uh, French Esther, okay. Now we there is a an option for opening balance. So if I decided that okay, French is French Esther is owing me twenty thousand as of today today's date which is uh, 18th of um uh, march okay i think that's just what i need needed now quickbook is going to create a double entry a balancing account so i'm going to go ahead and show us what that balancing account will look like but the implication here is that you won't be able to trace the invoices that are accumulated to this total balance whether it is a single invoice or multiple invoices you cannot say okay this is what uh, made this particular total so i'm starting with the wrong way now this is how some people go about it so let me just go ahead and hit okay then i'm gonna uh generate a report now fine is here uh french uh, uh french esther 20,000, which is correct as our account receivable okay i'll go to report if i click on uh company and financial then go to my balance sheet i want to see okay who is going uh as at 18 or whichever period so i'm going to click on account receivable i'll double click on that because it is a period so i'm going to select now you see here you see something as uncategorized un income now you see it is opening balance of twenty thousand. Now, if I double click on it, I cannot go back to an invoice that is specifying the items that were used to create this bill, this invoice. Now, the only thing you are seeing here is just opening balances, which is wrong. This opening balance is not giving you a clearer picture of those items, those products and services that arrive uh, us to these uh, 20,000. Okay, I'm also going to company and financial then click on profit and loss standard now you see quickbook is going to create an account called uncategorized income you can see now that, that opening balance the double entry uh the balancing account is uncategorized income which is this twenty thousand. so if i'm going to double click on that it's still going to take us to the friend okay this invoice of uh twenty thousand. i see double click on that i'm still going to the same page i just left now now you see that we cannot have uh, the exact and correct view of the items that resulted to this amount. Okay, on the second thought, let's say uh, I decided that, okay, I want to create a customer now. So I'll go back to customer. So I want to go on with the correct method now. I create, I go to customer center. I'm going to use a zero balance. I'm not going to input any balance on that. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, click on new customer then over here let me say i use fatima fatima okay now with a zero balance i'm not inputting anything on that this is the best way to go about it so i click on ok so when i click on ok i have fatima with zero balance then i can go ahead and click on customer then i can create those invoices that accumulated to that 20,000. If it is one invoice, I'm going to create one invoice. If it is um, three invoices, I'm going to create those three invoices separately with their values, which will now total to that 20,000. So, for the sake of this uh, 
uh, tutorial i'm just going to hit and just select an item alone so let me say it's gardening services and um, okay let me select um let's say networking okay then i say the rate is five thousand okay so now this particular transaction is going to go ahead and save up to fatima now if i go to my customer center or you can see now fatima is five thousand so if I, if I go to my report and generate my uh generate banner sheet so i'm going to see over here now the if I double click on that account receivable so i'm going to see now fatima if i click, click on fatima it's going to show me the items the product and services that i offered so he's i can easily say okay this is the invoice number of the item the of this invo uh, this is the invoice number uh, the, of this transaction and these are the invoices so but on that first method i use you see that we are not having any uh, clarification or description as to what happened as to what gave rise to that twenty thousand. so i'm going to hurriedly go to vendor so let me go to reports again i'll go to company and financial now this is around profit and loss now you see that it will properly tell me that it is a revenue on like the other one that is showing on categorized income so i'm going to go ahead and uh, quickly do that for vendor center so i'm going to use this first method also which is the wrong method so i'm going to select a uh, new uh, vendor so once i click on new vendor then i okay let's see um let's see abubakar abubakar okay now i'm going to insert let's say fifteen thousand. then click on okay so let me let's go to reports now uh, quite all right it's showing fifteen thousand here which is correct now let's go to report now I'll click on report i'll go to company and financial then i select balance sheet standard if you see over here now the uh let's go to payable so this is a liability this account pick of fifteen thousand i'm going to double click on that uh you stick okay i'll also double click on that you see now that it's going to show us a bill that was created but with opening balance that is on categorized expenses now if i go ahead to profit and loss to see you see that on categorized expenses there as 15 000. this is not a proper way of keeping track of our expenses and income because you don't have the detailed uh, transactions okay what if i go ahead again then go to the second method now i decide that okay i'm gonna create a new customer now and um, a new vendor then this time around i'm not going to make use of an opening balance so let's say i use as a poor uh, okay as a poor then i don't use any balances i click on okay uh which is fine we don't have any balance so i'm, I'm gonna go ahead and create the bill so i'm gonna enter bill that is related to isaac poor so i'm gonna select uh isaac poor okay which is which is there now then i uh select the items if it is purchase i did or purchase of services i also do that i always say data uh just training services from from okay associated with income account let me select something else uh, okay i was supposed to create an expense so let me just go ahead and use expense an item related to expenses so let me just say stationary then i put the amount now as um, twenty five thousand. so when i go ahead and hit save and close you see now that if i pull out the report let me go ahead and click on open windows balance sheets and refresh that now you see over here now we have payable uh, an additional payable when i click on that i'll be able to see the amounts are stationary when i once i click on that i'm going to see the transactions that actually occurred to give rise to that twenty five thousand. now let's say the opening balances for this particular vendor or that customer is reflecting a a balance payment so let's say the transaction the uh, the in bill was twenty five thousand initially but it's now showing that we are going in uh this vendor uh ten thousand so it means we've paid that fifteen thousand so i'm still can go ahead 
and create this stationery as 25,000. Then I will go ahead and make payments. So I click on vendor and pay bills. So uh, I'm going to make payment of 15,000 from this one, not this guy, from this one. So, okay. Then, um, which bank am I making the payment from? It is FCMB, if it's B. Okay, let me save this first one. I think I have Stalin. Okay, so I'm going to make my payment from Stalin now by removing 25,000. So I'll go ahead and pay selected Bs. Now you see that the balance now will be 10,000 on, um, on when I go to vendors and vendor center. Then you see that we have a balance of uh, Oris Isaac. Okay, let me double click on that. Sorry. Oh, I paid the total amount. That is why I paid the 25,000. So I'm going to go ahead to that pay bill. So that is why it's showing zero. So I was supposed to pay 15,000, uh, remaining the balance of. Um, uh, okay. That transaction is saved. Okay, let me go ahead and make, go to reports. Click on um, company and financial. Then I click on balance sheet standard. Okay. So I paid with Stanley Bank. So I'm going to hit Stanley Bank. Okay. So I'm going to hit on this bill payment. I'm trying to go back to the bill to adjust the payment. Okay. So let's say the payment now is uh, 15,000. I'm going to hit recalculate to match up with this. Then I save and close. So once I have save and close, uh, once I have save and close, then there will be a balance of uh, 15, 10,000 I need to say. So let me click yes. So I'm going to go ahead to vendor center again. So vendor center. You see now that we have a balance of 10,000. So you can see whichever way you'll be able to correctly make sure that your records are proper and are in details so that you don't get confused to start saying, okay, well, you are owing me this amount and the customer or the, uh, the customer decided, okay, give me the invoice. Let me see what and what I purchased from you. Or the vendor says you are owing him or her certain amounts and you cannot say, okay, these are the things that actually give rise to that amount so with this uh hopefully i i believe we will be able to now know how to enter uh, or create a customer that has a balance instead of making use of opening balances we know how to enter balances opening balances in quickbooks accounting software see you guys in my next class please like my video share uh, you can comment if you have any question or if you want me to create another video and also please hit uh, subscribe button and turn on the notification so that whenever I make my new videos, you get notified instantly. See you guys in my next class and have a wonderful day. Bye.